Jeff Caldwell from Heating Green HQ here in Bellingham, Washington. Hey, today we're gonna to talk about uh, electric wall heaters and we're gonna talk about space heaters as well. And we're trying to give you informative information. Um, a little bit of statistics, while these can work and they're fairly um, inexpensive, out of the box, um, uh, long-term solution here. Unfortunately, um, statistics don't lie. Unfortunately, heating equipment is the leading cause of fires in homes. And over half of home heating fires were caused by having heating equipment that is too close to things that can bust like furniture and curtains. <clears throat> At the same time, unfortunately, worst case scenario, 81% of home heating fire deaths involve stationary or portable space heaters. Hopefully you're not part of that, but we just wanna inform you safety is no accident and to take precaution in uh, when you're using things. For example, space heaters. My opinion is if you're not gonna be home, unplug them or shut them off totally and make sure, or buy one with a tip over switch, et cetera, or a timer. Um, also, when it comes to the wall heaters like this or baseboard, don't put anything flammable. I think they say at least three feet away from them. Um, you have to be careful too, especially if you have kids that, you know, if they take a blanket and they throw it by it or stick crayons in it. Um, what happens over time in any house, the dust collects. You can see this actually came out of my house right here and um, we just, we're doing a bathroom remodel right now and um, tons of dust is collected in here. And uh, in fact, before we started, this was so full, no air would go through. And so what can happen is that lint, anything coming through the bathroom can actually catch on fire. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but potentially this is a flammable material. We don't want that to happen. Same time, baseboard, it's usually behind a curtain down low, uh, below a window and over time, decades, you can see here, that there's uh, lint and stuff like that. Um, again, blankets can go against those. So if you were to think of these, if these were lights and you put them down low, would that make sense? Versus putting the lights up high, like in most rooms, like a lamp or something, uh, heat, uh, lights on the ceiling. So if you think of our lights, our heat, heat, in, heat in that aspect, they're actually more effective when they're up higher. So when it comes to the space heaters, you've got you know stuff that can be portable that has wheels, or this just has little feet on it. Um, high-low switch, different watts, uh, or a little ceramic heater. This actually does have a tip-over switch. They all have their, their benefits for sure, but just as they're sitting down low, they can, you know, a kid can come by, a dog can come by, um, or you could you know, trip over or something like that. You just wanna be really careful and not be part of those statistics. So again, as a long-term better alternative, using our heaters that are hardwired, and we do have some plug-ins that are static that would go on a wall and not have any potential of falling off or things catching on fire, uh, visit our website, heatinggreen.com. We'd love to work with you and, and help you inform you about um, um, how we can you know, make things better for you. And you can do it one room at a time. You don't have to do the whole house necessarily. So, hey, we appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, and thanks for watching. What's up?